Now, you're pimping and it's illegal. How how many how many problems are you having with the police well, and so I'm forth at this point? Police. You know, I think I'm in the jail more than anybody. You know, I mean, every time they see my Cadillac, they arrest me or let's film all that. Yeah, let's run him in. You know, I went through that all the time with the police, San Francisco, Los Angeles. You know, but uh, we did. We you know we was die hard. We did what we did. You know. Okay. Uh, how long after you started pimping did you actually get arrested for it? Oh, I'll tell you about, uh, maybe after I've been out there about two years, you know, I guess they let me grow into the industry before they came after me. Okay, and when you got arrested, what happened? What were you ultimately convicted of? Well, the first time I got arrested was for uh, pimping. You know, pimping and pamming, you know, it's two, two troubles, right? Is uh, well, if you get arrested for pimping, that's uh, but pimping and pandering. The pandering is if you send a girl to work, okay, and she come back and give you the money, that's pimping and pandering. If you proposition the girl to go out there and she don't like it to run off, and then the police stop her and she said this, that's pimping, you know, that's pimping 266 H and 266I or the penal code, <laughs> okay. So how big does your stable start to grow in terms of the number of girls? Oh, oh, oh. Over the years, well, it stayed to like about five, you know. But as it grows over the years, 23 and 24 and 25. Oh, you had as many as 25 girls at one time? 25 on Sunset Boulevard, Hollywood, in 1979 uh, and 80, 81. Mm-hmm. Okay, and I remember you know, you were in the movie American Pimp, uh, and there was a story about how you hit it. I forgot where it was. I don't know if it was Los Angeles or a different track, but you, you went out there with a bunch of girls, and, you know, as soon as you hit there, you know, all the girls started getting, you know, taken by all the younger pimps, and then everyone was laughing at you, and then you said, man, that was my second string girls. Okay, now what happened? I went to Los Angeles, right, with some turnout. These are turnouts, right? So if you got turnouts, what you do, you don't put them down in San Francisco. You take them, because you're scared they're going to go back home, so you take them away from home. So we went to L.A., you know. These are these are girls of age. They ain't no minors. So we go to Los Angeles, and I put them down on the track, sunset, right there by Piney, Chicken Cross, La Brea. And we, you know, all the players sit there, while the girl walk up down Sunset Boulevard all the way from Beverly Hills down to Western Avenue. So we sitting there and uh, I put mine down, I'm new in the town, and uh, do drive up with them all in the car. You know, it's about, about five, six of them. He said, who's Phil on Slim? I said, that's me. He said, well, these ain't your women no more, they with me now. They done gave me your money and all this. I said, oh. and I think, well, we done knock y'all, I guess you better go on back to Frisco, you better leave town. You feel me? So I said, no. You know, I said, I'm going to the telephone. So I went to the telephone and I called the real one, my real team. I said, y'all got to come to LA. You know, I said, get on the plane, fly to Los Angeles, rent a limousine, get it all of it, get in the limousine, come to Sunset Boulevard, my pioneer chicken, that's where I'll be. So, so enough, they got on the plane and came, and they drove up to Pioneer Chicken there by all the other players. Young pimp was wondering, well, who are all these women? I said, they mine. I said, now if you can catch these, I'll leave town. I said, but now you open the door for me to get into your business. And that's how, that's how I planted my roots in L.A. <laughs> 